Over the weekend, it was revealed that Monique and Lee Daniels have ended their 13-year feud. Daniels would show up at one of Monique's stand-up comedy shows in Staten Island and say, I am so sorry for hurting you in any way that I did. Now, their feud dates all the way back to 2009 as she decided to not participate in the awards campaign for the movie Precious, for which she won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. After the reconciliation, it was announced that Monique will have a role in Daniel's upcoming Netflix production, Demon House. Today, we have our company hype analyst, Vanessa Fraction, Capone, and Pierre calling to the show to give their reactions. But first, let's take a look at this clip. I am so sorry for hurting you in any way that I did. Yo, that she was my best friend. My best friend, y'all think that Precious was just, that wasn't, that was, that was God working through both of us. And we gonna do it again. Now I wanna dive straight into this one and Pierre, I'll start with you. What are your thoughts, you know, in seeing that your reactions to it? You know, we heard from 50 Cent, do you think he had something to do with it? Or do you think it's just a genuine apology from Lee Daniels? I think it's a genuine apology. It's, it's long overdue. You know, this feud been going on way too long. Even her with Oprah and Tyler, you know, and us as black folks, you know, we, that's a while we get tired. You know, we, we want to see it get, you know, for them to come together. It was petty. I think it was very petty. And um, now that they're together, I hope, you know, something blossoms out of it. I'm quite sure it will. So I'm, I'm excited for them. And we need to, you know, cut a lot of these feuds out. Absolutely. Capone, I want to come to you next. What, what was your reactions when you saw it? Did you think, you know, 50 Cent had something to do with it? Or this is just a genuine apology from Lee Daniels? I, I think the apology was definitely genuine. For him to come all the way to Staten Island to surprise her at the show, a lot of people don't know it was a surprise. She didn't know he was coming. Um, I think the influence of 50 Cent's mentioning it definitely was something that they took heed to. Um... But overall, like Pierre said, I think that it was good for, for the, you know, them to come together. It was just about time. Now, Vanessa, I want you to chime in on this as well. What's your reactions? You know, do you think 50 has something to do with it? Or do you think it's just a genuine apology from Lee Daniels? Well, first of all, my reaction to the clip in general was, yay, Monique. Um, I proudly say that I, I wrote for her show the second season. She is a joy to work with. The environment that she sets was very loving. She should be working. Um, so when I saw that apology, I was happy for her. Um, as far as genuineness, I don't know. That comes from the heart. I don't know Lee Daniels or anything like that. I feel like it was a um, the timing was something special, I definitely would say. I think that 50 Cent um, had something to do, I feel like he might have had something to do with pressing that um, that apology, because one thing I wouldn't want is for 50 to go ahead and put her on, you know what I mean? Because um, in his own statement, he's saying that she's a creative force to be reckoned with. And in knowing that, you know, if 50 was the one um, to put her on knowing that he now has a knack for creating um, hit series. You know, I mean, I could just see that being um, a bit much, especially considering you said that she had been your best friend. You know what I mean? So I was just thinking to myself, if that was your best friend, you let this little thing about the tour and what other people had to say get in the way of your friendship, not just the thing about putting her in movies or putting her in different series, but y'all haven't talked. Now, I don't know, no, but I think that's what was written in some articles that they actually hadn't been talking. And I just... I think that's a bit much. So it's a long overdue apology, and I guess I feel better late than never. Now, Capone, I want to come to you next and get your thoughts, because I think there's a lot of layers to this. You know, of course, there's Monique stepping in to replace Octavia Spencer due to scheduling conflicts. But then you also have Monique that filed a lawsuit against Netflix back in 2019, as well as telling her supporters to boycott Netflix. Now, fast forward to 2022, and she's doing a Netflix film with Lee Daniels. So what are your thoughts? You know, what do you see Netflix? Next, excuse me, for Monique as she moves forward with given, you know, everything over the years. A lot of people do things when they're angry. I'm I'm probably one of the people. And I think that uh, whatever has been rehashed to make things better, it, 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 it's a thing. I, I, I haven't seen her pursuing it as far as the uh, the lawsuit. And once she made the statement about the people and she got kind of like backfired from people, some people backfired on her. You know, you ain't did nothing for us and why we should we we help you now and all of that. 
I just, I'm happy that if she is getting ready to do something with Netflix, that uh, it works for her. Um, because I feel that a lot of times anger supersedes our emotions and we say things that sometimes we really don't mean. And I, if, if she is doing a film, then obviously they work something out for to better for both of them. Um, Cause I'm trying to do a Netflix special myself and I talked to Mike Epps and he hasn't called me back yet. So I'm putting it out there. I, I want to do a Netflix special. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And I, hey, I look forward to seeing it. Pierre, I want to come to you next. What are your, what are your thoughts on it? Um, you know, those are two different things. Her wanting a special and her working for Lee Daniels. Lee Daniels already in the pocket with Netflix. So, you know, why would she not work with Netflix on something totally different? She can still fight for her having a special and more money. But also, like uh, people say, time heals all wounds, man. You know, it's time to move forward. Um, and maybe this might ignite her to get the special on Netflix. And I hope so. If that's the case and break for her, you know. But uh, let's move forward. Let's move on. Um, they, you know, they're in the, the process of doing it. I think the timing is perfect. Unfortunately, Octavia Spencer didn't have, couldn't do the movie. So she fell in right in line. And to get over it, let's move past it, you know, uh, too much drama behind it. So I say, let's keep going. And good for her, you know, if it's Netflix or somewhere else, I don't care. As long as she keeps working and she's doing her thing. And if Netflix are willing to pay, you know, let her do work with him, good for her. Absolutely. Vanessa, I want, I want you to chime in on this as well. What are your thoughts and reaction given that, you know, she did file a lawsuit back in 2019. She asked people to boycott Netflix. But now we're seeing her, you know, do a Netflix film. You know, do, do you think, you know, this could possibly open up that possibility for a Netflix special for Monique? I don't know, and I don't care if she gets a Netflix special. I think it is interesting if um, that she that her opportunity is coming through a Netflix movie. So as I believe Pierre or Capone said, there's something that must been must have been worked out, or something that is going to be worked out in regards to the um, lawsuit that she had going on with them, um, saying that they don't um, have enough black people, I believe, black women, excuse me, on their uh, platform as well as the amount that they offered her and were paying her. Um, I guess, I'm, again, I don't know, uh, it, we keep asking about the feelings. My only feeling I really have is that I'm happy for her as far as the trajectory of her career and where it's going to go from here. I only hope up, you know, she's a powerhouse entertainer. Um, she has all the gifts. She's paid her dues. She has the experience. She's an awesome individual. So um, I wish her nothing but the best. I I don't care nothing about it. If it's Netflix or whoever it is, as, um, as the other said, I just want to see more of her. She has a lot of fans. Right. Um, they've been behind her, uh, uh, most of them, 110%. And so um, I think everybody's just waiting for her to do. I really love seeing her in movies and television and stuff like that. So just whatever it is, I look forward to it. Absolutely. And I think you bring up a great point. I think a lot of people, including myself, want to see her in more films. So, Pierre, I'll come back to you. Do you think this is what Monique needed to, you know, get back on top in the film industry, in movies and things like that? Do you think this is what she needed from Lee Daniels? Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, someone like Lee Daniels telling her, come on in, the doors are open. Now I'm quite sure more doors are open. You know, people get kind of touchy, not, not sure if they're the ones that should let her in. But the fact that they're letting her in, and, and we'll see. Only time will tell with this one here. If Lee Daniels is the cavalier, caveat or the cav uh, the reason why she's getting into these new mo these movies, God bless him. God, it's time to move past it, man. You know, the whole somebody back for so long is getting, you know, it's old, man. That stuff is old, man. So, I'm glad the door's open and, you know, more power to Monique, man. I hope she gets more movies. And hell, I hope I get more movies. Yeah, Lee Daniels, come to one of my shows. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. I want you to chime in as well. Do you think this is what Monique needed to, you know, get back on top of her movie career? Uh, of course, yes. Um, without a doubt. Uh, we all need a little boost from somebody who's uh, up above us or it has that plug. And the sad part about it is that there's a lot of individuals that don't help out, you know, not to say that anybody owes anybody because he don't owe her um, whatever they had. And it went sour and went sour, but he was man enough to, uh, <laughs> to come back and apologize and, you know, make things get back rolling again. And that's, that's really a, a blessing. And I wish her nothing but the best. Absolutely. Now, Vanessa, of course, I want you to chime in on this as well. What are your thoughts? Do you think this is what, you know, Monique needed to get back on top so we can see her in more movies? 
I think she needed something, somebody, whether it was 50 Cent, you know what I'm saying? Saying like, hey, I'm going to put you in this series, that movie, you know, whatever, to get to, you know what I mean? To move the scale a little bit, because as I think upon just said, like, sometimes people, you know, kind of have that hand, well, they ain't going to touch him. I don't know if I want to touch him. And it takes a little bit of courage. And so I will say kudos to 50 Cent for having the courage to say, like, come on, man. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the movie then. Forget it. I'm going to put it in the, in the sitcom. I'm going to do what I have to do or put it, you know, in a series or what have you. And so, yes, she needed, I believe, you know what I mean, um, that you do. You need something to, to, to get it moving and rolling and, and then move on that momentum. And so um, hopefully this will be the thing and then it'll be just an avalanche of, of work for her. And, you know, she definitely got the goods. Absolutely. So definitely wishing the best, yeah. Absolutely, and I appreciate you all for chiming in on this one. I'm, I'm super excited to see what, you know, what happens next, what comes of this. But congratulations to Monique, and I think just, you know, just ending that feud, it's, it's always good to see a feud ended and being able to move forward. So as always, I appreciate y'all for calling and chiming in. You heard from us, now we want to hear from you in the comments below. What are your thoughts about Lee Daniels apologizing to Monique? For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. Don't forget to put it in the comments. Put it in, in the, the comments. Show your love in the comments. Okay. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, K-Rob. And for years, you come to us to get the latest news in comedy and for your favorite comedians. Now you come to us for even more news in the world of sports, music, and pop culture. We're bringing you some of our classic shows you love, like Unforgotten, the Comedy Hype News Show, and more of our one-on-one -on -one interviews. We're more than just laughs, with the culture, the leaders in truth, and well, your streamer just got a little more blacker. Welcome to Hype Plus.